All right, so this is an interesting story. This comes from Raw Story. This headline reads, Trump's new ambassador to Canada gets destroyed for claiming she believes both sides of climate change. Now, this article reads, President Donald Trump's new ambassador to Canada is getting destroyed for a 2017 interview she gave about climate science. An interview with Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC, U.S. Ambassador Kelly Kraft explained that she believes in, quote, both sides of the science surrounding climate change. Quote, I think that both sides have their own results from their studies, and I appreciate and I respect both sides of the science. She noted that President Donald Trump's approach to climate change might be different than Canada's, but that both want to, quote, better our environment and to maintain the environment. Trump has said that he doesn't believe in climate change, uh, to believing it was caused by China, and most recently that he might believe in it, but disagrees humans aren't responsible for an increase in carbon emissions. So this is really hilarious, because this is uh, a clear example of just outright science denial by the right wing, and this is a big problem, because climate change is really going to hit heavy. Now... There have been consistent reports coming out from the federal government itself, the Trump administration, uh, that that explained that we're going to have catastrophic uh, consequences for not combating climate change. Now, as carbon carbon dioxide emissions rise, uh, global temperatures rise, and if the global temperature rises just by a few degrees, what you're going to see is the polar ice caps are going to melt, and uh, you're going to start having things like wars over water, increased desalination, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's going to be really bad. Even here in California, we've been having insane amounts of fires, which have never been A, in this frequency, and B, to this severity. Neither of those two things. So, uh, we're feeling it over here in California. We've also had a drought before. We got a couple, a little bit of rain here recently, but... Climate change is serious, man. And when people, for some reason, think that, like, if it's if it's only going to really, like, come in in 2100, people think that that's, like, oh, that's a long time. That's not a long time, dude. That's, like, that's like your kid's kids, basically. Your kid's kids or your kid's kid's kid. That's not that long down the line, 2100. People act as if that's super long. Um, like, people born now have a potential to make it 20, to 2100. They have a pretty high chance actually to get close to 2100 and we're gonna you know end up seeing how homes and different things underwater and uh despite what ben shapiro said no you're not going to be able to sell your homes that are <laughs> that are underwater because no one's gonna buy underwater homes that is totally ridiculous and stupid so we need to act on climate change when it comes to science and facts there are no two sides to it there are no alternative facts. There are facts, and that's final. And climate change is real, as we know, by the consensus of the studies and the data and the conclusions from the studies that are done, which, as we see, are in the high 90%. So climate change studies that express whether or not it is man-made says, yes, it is man-made. So, yes, clearly there's a consensus of data, which is how the scientific method works. Not a consensus of the opinions of scientists. No, but the consensus of the data that is gathered through the scientific method, that is uh, the scientific method at work. So there are no two sides to climate change, and you're a fucking idiot if you say that.